Yo, so guys, my name is Randolph. Welcome back to the channel. And before we get into today's video, I just want to say a massive happy Pokemon Day to everybody watching this. Pokemon for me has been something that has always kind of just brought happiness into my life, kept me going through dark times. Uh, and I just like the franchise in general. I've got some amazing memories from, you know, opening Pokemon cards with my mum when I was like six years old, uh, playing every single main series Pokemon game with my big brother throughout the years. Um, just so many like heartwarming moments and memories through my life. And I'm so happy and fortunate to be able to continue that with this channel that I'm doing now. So yeah, today is Pokemon Day, which means a number of things, okay? Number one is the brand new mythical Pokemon that I'm going to be reacting to in about 10 seconds. Number two is the brand new Pokemon film or the remake of the original Pokemon film on Netflix. And the third thing is uh, new raids in Pokemon Sword and Shield, okay? So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be covering all of those three things. However, in this video today, we are going to be reacting to the brand new mythical Pokemon in Sword and Shield. I haven't seen this Pokemon yet, this is gonna be my literal first reaction to it uh, on this trailer right here. It's only 30 seconds long, so, but hopefully there's some more information out there or maybe Cerebi, so let's get into it. My prediction for this Pokemon was that it was gonna be a fighting and grass type Pokemon. So let's see, uh, let's see what it's actually gonna be. Um, it's called Zarud, okay? Zarud is the name. I can't really avoid that, it's on the title. Uh, but yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay. A new mythical Pokemon has been discovered. Let's go. Ooh! Okay, so it is grass type, right? Yo, he looks sick! Okay. Zarud, dark and grass. So what did I say? I said grass and fighting, but it's actually dark and grass. Okay. Okay, interesting. This is the design, real quick. Let's, let's watch the trailer and let's get back into the, the re reaction or review of it in a second. Hey, him versus Rillaboom. Destroying that Dreadnought right there. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, so a very brief trailer. Not sure why I'm reacting to it, but I wanted to give you guys my first impression. But I wanted to give you guys my first impression. Oh, also, sorry. There's another thing that Pokemon have done today. That is the, the final vote for Pokemon of the year. So I'm also going to be checking that out in a minute as well on this video. So you don't have to go anywhere. Just sit back and relax. Um, but let's look at this real quick. So, so there we go. Zarud. <laughs> that's, that's like Zarud Standstorm, right? <laughs> oh, man. I just want to know, how, how do we get him? Okay, so Leaf Guard prevents status conditions in sunny weather. Okay, that's kind of not great. I mean, it's good against Venusaur right now with Chlorophyll, but then if you are against a Venusaur in the sun, you're most likely up against a Fire-type Pokemon that's just going to destroy you. Um, so I guess we don't have much information on it right now. Does Cerebi have some more information on it? Okay, so Dark and Grass-type. Its classification is Rogue Monkey Pokemon. The ability is Leaf Guard. It might have a hidden ability that we don't know about yet. Obviously, that will come in due time. Details. This mythical Pokemon is to be released in conjunction with the Pokemon movie Coco. Okay, it was then revealed that it, it was then revealed as Zarud. It can grow vines from the back of its neck, its wrists, and the soles of its feet at will. The vines are strong and flexible. They can be used to wrap around tree branches to move around or to grab berries from distant branches. They're useful for many different situations. The vines also have a healing property. If the vines are wrapped around a wound, it will heal. Well, that's dope. Zaru lives in a pack deep in the heart of dense forests. It treats anyone that isn't a part of its pack with immediate hostility attacking right away. This is why other Pokemon that live in the same forest are afraid of Zarud. When fighting, it swings around using trees and their branches, attacking relentlessly with its sharp claws or any other means it has. Its quick wit helps it excel in battles. And there you go. That's, it, that's its official, uh, you know, artwork as we've already seen in the video. And okay, yeah, design-wise, I mean, I think design-wise, it looks pretty much what I expected from the silhouette that they released. Um, definitely, you could tell like a, you know, like a monkey-style Pokemon, yeah. Uh, obviously, the dark typing is something I didn't expect. Obviously, it being a silhouette, we don't know what type it's going to be. Uh, I thought it was going to be fighting with the way it looks, with its claws, with its paws, etc. But that was just a that was just a guess based on intuition. Um, but yo, no, great design, man. I mean, very different to the most mythical Pokemon we come to expect. However, not every mythical Pokemon is, is small and cute like Celebi, Jirachi, and Mew, right? Sometimes you do get the Genesect-style um, <laughs> mythical Pokemon, and that's okay. That is okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, there's no news about how to get this Pokemon. There's no news on when we'll obtain it. I guess we'll obtain it when the movie Coco is released, but when does that come out? Okay, so Coco the movie is going to be released on July the 10th, 2020. So maybe we have to wait a while to get this mythical Pokemon, which is kind of annoying, even after the next expansion. Uh, but we are going to be getting this Pokemon here, right? 
Calyrex. This is the other mythical Pokemon. Is this mythical or is it legendary? These are some of these are the Regi Regis, right? Yeah, the unreleased Regis. This is where else's page has to offer. Yeah, we have uh, we have Urshifu and uh, Kubfu as well. They're coming in the expansions. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for those as well. Uh, especially, look at this. Look at this, man. Woo. Okay, so I guess we'll also look at the Pokemon of the Year in this video as well. However, I'm a little bit annoyed they've spoiled it on the title, so I now know that the Greninja is the Pokemon of the Year. But uh, let's watch this and see what we think. Alright, in number 10, we have... Gengar, okay. Nice. That's expected. We are going to get Charizard as well, right? We're going to get Lucario, we're going to get Gyarados, we're going to get... I don't know what else we're going to get, but let's see. Number 9. God of War. Okay, God of War is a great Pokemon. I can see why that's a fan's favorite as well. My friend Lamar is, loves this Pokemon as well. Okay. Okay. Number 8, we have... Rayquaza. I'm surprised that's not higher up, to be fair, you know. Rayquaza is... I know it's a legendary Pokemon, but it's also like a legendary Pokemon, you know? Yo, look at him. Got Deoxys there as well. Yo, I've not seen that. What's that from? Damn. Garchomp. Oh. I love Garchomp, but I just, I just, in VGC, it's so good. We are probably going to see a return of Garchomp in the expansions as well. Although I think it's pretty much confirmed because we did, we did see it. I think in the Crown Tundra uh, expansion pack. Or expansion pass. Number six, we have Sylveon. Wow! I did not expect Sylveon to be that high. That is a surprise. So is Sylveon the most popular evolution? I thought Umbreon and Espeon were, ha were you know, more, more loved than Sylveon. That's interesting. Number five is okay. Yeah, there we go. Umbreon. Umbreon. Wait, if Espeon's not in here, it's gonna break my heart. I love Espeon. You guys know I love Espeon. Shiny Espeon is the best Pokemon ever. Umbreon is sick as well, though. I, I've got love for Umbreon as well. That's on my backdrop. Somewhere up there. You can see it's here, I think, just poking out. Charizard, okay. Watch it. Wait, what? hold on. What number was Charizard? Number four. Thing is, like, I know everyone like hates how much attention Charizard gets, but you have to admit that when everyone's growing up, when everyone's choosing their first game, you have to you have to respect Charizard, right? It's a great Pokemon as well. The design's fantastic, so I'm not mad at it. You know, I'm glad it's not number one, but I'm not mad at it. In the anime as well, Charizard was such a big part of the of the anime too. Number three. Wow. Wow. That is a shock. Mimikyu is super strong, though. Okay, number two. Yeah, Lucario. Yeah, yeah. I said it at the start, Lucario. I'm surprised to see no Gyarados, though. Lucario number two, fair play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a great... He, he, yeah, Lucario is great in the show as well, with Karina. And number one, obviously the spoiled it for us, Greninja. I'm not mad at that. Greninja, Greninja's a great Pokemon. He, it just is. It's a great style. Okay. Greninja's the winner. Especially Ash Greninja as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just has so much going for it, you know. It's in Smash, Ash Greninja, and just the design in general. It's just an amazing design. Damn, that's kind of cool. So we're going to have this every year, right? That's kind of sick. That is kind of sick. Hey, yo, shout out to Hot Ones. Shout out to M&J TV. Both channels that I'm really enjoying watching right now. Um, let's read some of the comments. Look at this. Me, who's excited to know who came out on top. Pokemon Company literally puts the name of the winner. <laughs> well, that was worse than clickbaiting. <laughs> I love how they tried to build up to Greninja's reveal as if they didn't say it in the title. I know, but it's such a hard thing to do, right, on YouTube. It's so hard to let people know what's going to be in the video without... But I guess in this case, they could have just said the Pokemon of the Year and people would have clicked it regardless. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video today. Uh, something different than usual, but obviously there's so much news going around that uh, I thought it'd be great to just bring you guys uh, my opinion on the news and also uh, my first look at the uh, new mythical Pokemon Zarud, yeah, Zarud. Also, like I said, I will be doing a review of the new Pokemon movie on the channel soon, so make sure you subscribe for that. Also, I'm gonna be taking on Mewtwo and uh, the other start Pokemon in my live stream. 
I'm pretty sure. So make sure you guys check out that as well. Subscribe, turn the notification bells on to be notified when that goes out. Leave a like on the video. Let's try and hit a thousand likes on this video as always. And yeah, my name is Randolph. I'll be back tomorrow with a new Pokemon video. But for now, take care and peace out.